Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create database, how we can create rows, how we can add elements how in this database and how we can update and delete. So let's get started. So here you can see we have option to create the database. By default, we have admin config local and my database we created through console. So now we will create database through the GUI. We can create, click on create database. Here we have to write the name. Let's say I am writing test DB. Collection name. So collection name we can keep by default. We have to add any collection. So let's say I can write here user and then click create database. So now you can see test db is created and here we have user collection so if you will select test db by default we are not seeing any option so here can we can select users and then in this particular user collection we don't have any data so now let's add one data so here we have two options either i can click on import file or i can insert document directly so let's here we can click insert document in this one we have two options one is paste one or more documents here documents is nothing but a json format or we can insert using plus sign so if you want to insert so if i'll create here add field after id so let's say i am writing here name and here i can add the value <coughs> This is a type of a string. We can click enter. I can write age and then I'll write here as a type of integer. So I'll write 20. Then I can say <coughs> salary. This is kind of we can use double and here I'll put let's say 5000. And if I go into the another view it will be automatically inserted here so by default this id will be there and uh, we can click insert so one record is inserted one document is created inside this collection similar to that you have you can insert one or more data and also you have one option here from this data you can update so if you want to update you can click on edit document and from here you can update anything so let's say i'm writing here rakesh and then you can click on update similarly if you want to copy the duplicate then you can click on copy document this is copied now click here add document and then you simply you can delete it and paste it so now the same document is added here just you can replace anything that you want so let's say i have replaced it and we can click insert so here it is saying duplicate id so now you can give any different id since we have copied or you can remove it click insert so by default it will be inserted here so now we have two rows Two documents basically so let's say if I want to delete any particular here we have one option clone so if you will click clone it will ask you that you want to keep the same data or you want to add different data so let's see if I add Amit and then if I change the data we can click insert this is inserted so clone is used just to clone it if you want to copy it for other purposes you can copy it and here we have option to edit this now we have another option that is delete so if you will click delete this data is flagged for deletion we can click delete now you can say data is deleted also we have a views different view so by default it is selected list view if you will click a json view you can see data in the json view we have another option that is table view we can click here and you will see data in the form of table so that's all we will see in the next video we will see 
how we can perform aggregation how we can add operations on that thank you so much thank you for watching the video